Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salam ala sayyidina mukhatim al-Nabi wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi ajma'in. As you see, today we are together, Muqtab al-Wahhab and myself, and we wanted to conclude the last session together. Uh, part of it is I can uh, share the challenge of Arabic learning with my brother, and um, we're going to go to back to Fayl Mudari. I had given some assignments to them yesterday, and uh, Mufti Abdul Wahhab did the Nahwa part, part of it. I honestly think teaching Nahwa is easier than Sub. Is that true, Mufti Sub? Well, I think they're both, they're both challenging. They're both challenging. I think you're just a better teacher. No, no, no. They're okay. both challenging. Sub is very hard because there's a lot of memorizing. No, right. What did they say, Mufti Sub, that for, for Nahwa, you need a mind of a king? Mm -hmm. And for surf, you need the tongue of a dog. Oh, really? Yeah. You just need it, like, you know, just keep on. Keep repeating. Keep on repeating. Hua, huma, hum, hiya, huma, hunna, anta, antum, antum, anti, antum, antum, anna, nahlu. One of the tricks that we, we, we use to teach our students is the trick of the fingers. Mm. Uh, the trick of the fingers is quite simple. They can't see the fingers. So you have, you have, you have five, fingers on your, five fingers on your hand, inshallah. And there's somehow, miraculously, 14 um, spots on your fingers. Just three, just for self. Just, just for self. And bigger. Three, six, nine, twelve. And then you have one and two. So yeah. You have fourteen spots. I have three there. You have a big thumb, vision. <laughs> so you have fourteen spots. <laughs> these six are film. Uh, these six are third person. The second six are second person, and this last, the thumb, is first person. So whenever you hear a sirah. Try to find out where it, where it belongs in your fingers. So, for example, the next one is la iba la iba. So, starting from the top, la iba la iba. It's number two, and anything which is number two would be dual. Anything which is number one will be singular, and anything which is number three will be plural. So, put them on your fingers and see if that can help you in identifying the pronoun. It's not about it's not about the translation. It's all about the pronoun for now. So, hopefully, that can help you guys. Normally we spend a little bit of time on that because I've already covered Fail Maldi. So Laiba has alif at the end, has an addition, the suffix of alif. That would be what everyone? Is it huma or is it hum? Huma? Yeah. Awesome, mashallah. Mashallah. Excellent. Mashallah. 